Welcome back, it's gone 10 past six. Now for many it's seen as a fairly simple injection that smooths the way to younger looking skin. Yeah, Botox is the UK's most popular non-surgical procedure, but a daybreak investigation has uncovered salons that are ignoring the new safety rules aimed at making the industry safer. Tiffany Royce uh, is at a Botox clinic in Harley Street. So you've uncovered um, quite a lot of uh, people flouting these rules. So just explain what the rules are first. Yes, morning, Matt. Morning, Ranveer. We're here at this clinic. Dr. Darren and his team do do everything by the books, but we found many people who aren't doing things correctly. You see, Botox here is a prescription-only drug. And earlier in the year, the General Medical Council introduced new guidelines saying that if you want to have Botox done, well, then you've got to have a face-to-face -face consultation with a doctor like Darren, a dentist or a prescribing nurse. Only then can you go and see someone like a beautician who can give you the injections. Well, we went to find out if people really are doing Doing it right. As a 35-year-old mother of two, I've thought about Botox. It's already big business. Over a million injections are given every year in the UK, but now stricter rules should mean an end to walk-in beauty appointments. We contacted beauticians still offering the drug to see if they're playing by the rules. Armed with a hidden camera, I went to find out. In a shed in her back garden, one beautician was happy to give me Botox without any sign of a doctor or nurse. This is the needle that we've been using. But she didn't seem to realise she was doing anything wrong. I thought you had to go to a doctor to get these things done. No, you don't. Um, you, from next year, you're going to have to see a doctor first. At the next salon, I was given no medical consultation or advice. Her main concern was that I spend more money. It's good, cheaper than other. Otherwise, it's 99.1 area and three area, 199. Within seconds of sitting down, she had the needle out. I don't know that I want to do it. Are you a medical expert? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Sit here, we do every day so many people. The worry is going to the wrong person could be a mistake that's written all over your face. Let's go back to uh, Harley Street now and speak to Dr. Darren McEwen. Morning to you, Doctor. We saw from that filming there that Tiffany did that, morning, that you could easily have the injections without having a proper prescription. How important do you think it is to get a proper prescription? Getting a proper prescription is absolutely crucial to getting the treatment right. If someone's administering a drug to you without a prescription, you've got no idea what it is they're putting in your face. It may well be Botox that's been obtained through the, the, uh, some sort of prescription fraud, but equally, it could be some sort of counterfeit drug that's been sourced from somewhere in the black market, and that is very worrying. And shouldn't that be the case, though, um, that actually I was surprised that the beauticians were able to even order it or whatever, because surely wherever they're getting it, they should be saying, well, are you a medical expert? Are you a doctor? Why are they even allowed to buy it? Absolutely, and none of the big pharmacies that regularly supply Botox, and certainly Allergan who manufactured Botox, would not be supplying these people directly. So they're obviously getting it from somewhere else. Where that person's getting it from, it's impossible to say. But you do not want a counterfeit drug injected into your face. My own uh, inbox at the clinic is often filled with people from Hong Kong and China trying to sell me cheap Botox, um, which is clearly counterfeit and not an appropriate source of procurement for any type of prescription on the medication. It is one of the most yeah. toxic, naturally occurring substances, uh, Botox or botulism, which is where it's from. If it's administered incorrectly, what kind of problems can it cause? The biggest problem that I usually see um, from any expertly applied Botox is that it simply doesn't look good doesn't look good, doesn't last very long, might not do anything at all, but equally, if it's placed in the wrong places, it can result in real functional problems, such as drooping of the eyelids, drooping of the eyebrows, or if it's placed too close to the eyes themselves, it can diffuse into the muscle that moves the eyes and cause double vision. All these effects will wear off eventually, but it can take months, and it's very, very distressing for patients who have to live with that, being in mind they went into this thinking they were going to have something that was going to make them look a bit better and feel a bit better about themselves. OK, Dr McEwen, thanks very much indeed Goodness. for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, now from December, uh, doctors will face annual assessments to make sure that they are fit to practice. And the biggest shake-up of medical regulation